the topic that I would like to discuss here today is related to the building envelope fires. Building envelopes are very vulnerable to fire, as we can see on the picture on right hand side, wherein a building uh, completely uh, got burnt out, just like uh, uh, an envelope of you know of a paper. And 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 as we can see, uh, the fire has actually developed and engulfed the entire building. Although internally, possibly uh, the fire was uh, limited uh, to a particular fold, but very quickly externally, fire has spread uh, to all over the building. And this particular picture is from Grenfell Tower, where almost 100 people died, and it was a very very tragic uh, 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 incident, and uh, which led to a lot of uh, rethinking about uh, the the way we look at uh, the envelopes. The discussion that I present to you uh, is based on our uh, book co-authored with my other colleagues, uh, uh, Chatali Basu, Abhijit, and Kuldeep, uh, entitled as Essentials of Building Life and Fire Safety, published by uh, Copal Publishers. Uh, we look at the uh, building envelope. It is uh, mostly defined in terms of uh, thermal con uh, consideration and the fire-related issues are uh, more or less um, uh, uh, as a set of uh, assumptions, wherein the primary function of facade is uh, talked about uh, uh, in relation to the condition, uh, climatic conditions that uh, need to be created inside. Facade in the, uh, uh, can be defined as physical separator between internal and external building environment, serving as an outer shell, again, for the purpose of uh, indoor environment, for the purpose of climate control, uh, international building code that talks a little more in detail, uh, a system of assembly of uh, exterior wall components, including exterior wall covering, uh, sheathing, providing protection to the building structural members, framing, etc. And again, essentially on uh, uh, conditioning of interior spaces. Uh, uh, elsewhere, uh, building envelope is also referred to as a material or assembly of materials applied on exterior side of uh, uh, the building, uh, including walls, weather resisting barriers, etc. So as we can see, a uh, building envelope here is essentially defined in terms of uh, uh, the thermal conditions and the issues related as we saw in the first case are completely overlooked or they are as it taken as, uh, as assumptions. From the point of view of fire, if you look at the objectives that uh, the building envelopes are required to perform, the first and foremost is uh, the life safety of occupants. So should there be any uh, a fire, would the occupants get enough time to evacuate and uh, uh, this particular uh, uh, function of uh, reaching the place of safety depends on the type of building use, type of occupancy management, number of occupants, et cetera. So the, the life safety becomes uh, the, the most important uh, concentration from fire point of view. Then we need firefighters and their accessibility into the building. And if the building is externally on fire, then of, of course, uh, there is no possibility of uh, reaching out to the upper floors by any uh, firefighters, uh, of by the by by external apparatus such as ladders or anything else. Uh, the next uh, objective very clearly is the asset pr pr protection, wherein we are looking at uh, uh, the issue of arresting progression of fire. As we saw in the first picture of Grenfell Tower building, uh, the progression of fire was so rapid that protecting um, uh, assets uh, in that kind of a situation is practically. Uh, a, a, a non-existing uh, uh, option. Uh, then also when, when the entire building is up in flame, we also need to see how it uh, can uh, lead to uh, a spread of fire across the building and uh, consequently what could be the possible uh, effect on the continuity of bus uh, businesses as a result of uh, uh, a shutdown of the activities that happen in the building. Uh, if you look at uh, the uh, the components of facades, uh, typically we divide them in two categories, lightweight or heavyweight, wherein in, in case of heavyweight uh, uh, building envelopes, we are referring to uh, thermally heavy material wherein the specific heat of uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the material is used as a property for moderating the external environmental condition, external temperature, when uh, the other one is looking at uh, the property of uh, insulation, uh, which typically we see in the case of uh, high, very high rise buildings where adding weight or thermally mass uh, envelope can lead to a lot of structural complications. So basically the two types and uh, 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 the, uh, the heavyweight uh, thermally weight uh, building envelopes uh, are not therefore suited for uh, uh, a tall building, maybe four or five floors at best. 
Uh, the other components which are very important are uh, framing, external cladding, insulation, uh, the cavities that are formed as a result of external cladding, and the uh, the building structure, the membrane, uh, the impermeable member. Typically, we have for the uh, the vapor barrier, especially in case of air conditioned buildings, uh, a permeable breather membrane uh, to ensure that the vapor uh, barriers they allow some kind of a vapor movement across uh, the barrier, sealant joints. Uh, system arrangements, corners, and uh, passive safety measures so such as the cap cavities or any uh, protection measure we, we have between the floors. Uh, the typically cladding materials that we commonly find in our modern building envelopes, uh, they include uh, uh, aluminum composite panels, very, very common all, uh, all over the world. Or we also have timber and plywood uh, uh, based cladding materials, laminate glass, typically in uh, 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 tall buildings, we see toughened glass or any other type of glass which serves the purpose of safety as well as the, the thermal performance. Fiber reinforced polymer glass are very common. Sandwich composite panels are common. Photovoltaic sheet mounted composite panels are becoming increasingly more and more uh, uh, common, uh, uh, considering the kind of energy crisis or energy preferences that we have. Combustible co uh, coating materials, which are over and above the, uh, uh, the cladding materials, stone ceramics. Uh, they do exist, and a uh, variety of stones uh, ceramics are in, in vogue these days. Uh, insulations, which are part of uh, the cladding uh, material itself, polystyrene or expanded polystyrene or uh, uh, mineral wool. And we also have a, a trend wherein a skin, a separate sheathing or an external skin is created for uh, aesthetics and other uh, uh, visual purposes. Now, in addition to that, we also find there are a large number of components or accessories wherein transfer members or part openable, climate control, louvers, draperies, etc. They are all part of the shape. So if you look at all these uh, uh, you know, uh, components or all these cladding materials, we find there's a variety of uh, uh, options available and each one of them have a different uh, uh, fire-related uh, uh, behavior. Uh, the external fire spread, as we saw in the first slide, is largely related from uh, related to a spread from one building to adjoining building, wherein uh, there is a separation uh, uh, between the two by wall or another barrier, and, uh, and that protects the flying debris to uh, spread across uh, around the building. The other exterior fire spread is from one building to the other uh, by way of uh, radiation. The third option is wherein the fire spreads within the vertical cavity that is created, as I just mentioned, between the building envelope and the uh, and, and the structure and these cavity bridges across the floors then uh, can work like a, a chimney and the spread fire vertically uh, very, very fast. And the other op uh, uh, option also we've uh, come across is a vertical spread by external flames going, leaping out from uh, uh, the, uh, the glazed openings and uh, uh, again grazing back uh, to the envelope uh, 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 surface, uh, something like uh, commonly referred to as the leaf rock. Now, if you look at the the, the coastal provisions uh, in different parts of the world, and we try to compare what we have in India, uh, uh, we find that in Australia there is a considerable uh, awareness about the combustible uh, cladding, and uh, 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 the government decided to look at uh, the uh, uh, the uh, uh, the cladding and what kind of uh, uh, risk they pose. In India, we typically work on um, uh, the uh, low. Uh, uh, and medium uh, flame spread class one, two, three, uh, but but that is only for the purpose of surface flame spread. Whereas one is looking at combustibility, as we have seen in the uh, Australian code. In UAE, there are uh, restrictions uh, 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 that uh, <clears throat> not allowed. Uh, these these claddings are not allowed on floors above tenth floor. In UK, again, there is a restriction: uh, a height more than eighteen meter. Uh, there is uh, uh, there is a considerable restraint. Uh, in Australia, as of now, it appears there is no, no ban. In India, there is no ban. Uh, in UAE and uh, UK, there is a, a restriction above 10 and 18 floors, uh, respectively. As far as the installation is concerned, uh, Australia, Australia recommends uh, uh, cavity barriers between the, the cladding material and uh, the building structure. In India, we don't have any such uh, recommendation. Uh, in UAE, the things are a little more... Uh, 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 stringent and complicated, wherein cavity barrier inspection at every 20% interval is uh, 
uh, is necessary all across the height. Uh, in UK, cavity barrier is a requirement for maximum dimension of uh, cavity is uh, uh, mandated. Uh, as far as allocation of responsibility of uh, uh, executing uh, uh, the facade or the cladding envelope is concerned in Australia, India, there is none, but in UAE, wall assemblies on the external uh, uh, facade are uh, required to be carried out by uh, the design approved uh, design installation and inspection consultants. Uh, otherwise, anybody else is not permitted to uh, uh, carry out these jobs uh, so that the responsibility can be fixed. Uh, the specialist consultants, again, the qualifications are prescribed in Australia for both consultants and contractors. In the UAE, again, we have consultants and contractor trained, qualified, and they only are required to uh, perform to make sure that the envelope doesn't become a fire hazard. As far as uh, the uh, design drawing approvals are concerned, UAE requires design specifications and approvals, and uh, the responsibility is to be very clearly stated. As far as existing buildings are concerned, uh, Australia, uh, considering various uh, uh, accidents, uh, fire-related accidents that have happened, has mandated that all uh, such buildings uh, uh, between 2001 and 2017 are required to be audited, and uh, <coughs> rectification is required to be undertaken. In India, there is no such... Uh, uh, provision for the existing building in UAE again in the existing buildings will have to comply with the new code and uh, uh, the past building uh, buildings uh, uh, do not have any uh, reprieve as far as compliance is concerned in UK uh, uh, there is no such ban on existing buildings to comply with the new requirement however authority uh, promotes and uh, supports uh, removal of unsafe uh, safe uh, claddings and make them safe as far as possible Audit, audit and testing, full-scale auditing is required. And this is where in Australia, uh, AAS 1530 uh, uh, and the uh, AAS 15313 uh, requires uh, the full-scale testing. Whereas in India, what we are doing is a class which is much smaller uh, uh, sample that is required to be the, the two uh, uh, the testing uh, procedures and objectives are very, very different. Uh, in UAE, inspection inspectors from each fire stations are required to regularly carry out uh, uh, the inspections and check the compliances. In UK, external facility assemblies are just required to be complying with the performance criteria. There are stringent penalties in uh, uh, Australia and uh, UAE. However, in India and UK, uh, there are no such provisions. Uh, <clears throat> the priority of buildings uh, in uh, uh, upgrading or making them safe as far as the building envelope is concerned, residential, hospital, old age, essentially, essentially a large number of people, assembly and the sleeping occupancies are required to be uh, taken on priority. Whereas in UK, uh, 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 residential accommodations and the boarding schools are required to be or the sleeping occupancy are, are required to be uh, made uh, safe as far as the, the building envelopes are concerned. So if we look at the, the quotal provision, we find that UAE is uh, is a very, very uh, stringent and looks at uh, the building envelope in a very detailed manner. However, uh, 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 Australia and UK have made uh, uh, considerable uh, uh, progress and uh, in, in terms of not only really uh, uh, mandating uh, uh, new uh, codal requirements, but also bringing about awareness as far as the existing buildings are concerned. Uh, aluminium is a very important component of uh, uh, the uh, modern uh, 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 cladding materials or building envelopes, uh, especially because it's uh, lightweight and it's a very workable uh, solution, but it, it is also a very hazardous uh, when it uh, reacts uh, uh, <coughs> with water we find that uh, uh, initially when it uh, catches fire, uh, uh, it, it, it uh, releases a lot of uh, aerosol, especially because of or, or a black smoke, because there is an insulating plastic layer in between. Uh, and aluminum, as it rapidly reacts with carbon products coming out of uh, the, the plastic insulation, uh, <clears throat> uh, it forms uh, aluminum carbide and it gives a spark like fireworks. This hot molten, uh, aluminium and uh, uh, aluminium carbide reacts very violent, uh, violently with water. As a result, alumina file dust aerosol, some kind of a dust is uh, released along with hydrogen and methane. Uh, and uh, it is uh, something like a white smoke at residue. And this is, this is a low 
a spontaneous combustion temperature and instantly reacts with uh, oxygen and uh, <coughs> works like a rocket fuel uh, and uh, uh, leads to an instant growth in uh, temperature. So aluminum and uh, aluminum cladding, aluminum insulation, insulation material in aluminum cladding and water is in fact a deadly combination as far as the fire is concerned. And that's where there is a considerable uh, awareness that aluminum needs to be seen with a lot of caution. As far as Indian codes are concerned, Table 1 in National Building Code gives requirements for various uh, types of uh, uh, construction, Type 1, 2, 3, 4. However, as we go into Clause 3, 4, uh, or 10.2, uh, uh, where uh, as uh, when it comes to the glass uh, facade, it only asks for 600 millimeter uh, by 600 millimeter uh, uh, opening for the purpose of uh, 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 smoke and provision of uh, 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 sprinklers uh, about uh, 600 millimeters away from the spring, uh, the the glazing, uh, to give some kind of uh, heat uh, removal. But if you look at uh, the uh, the box on the left and the box on the right side, the question is: Are the two uh, provisions uh, equivalent? So, if the table one has a provision for uh, one, two, or three, or four hours uh, of fire rating, uh, then the provision of 3.4.10.2 is it is it equal? Does the sprinkler with two, uh, 600 millimeters away and openings into the envelope, do they give the same kind of a, a safety as far as uh, the fire rating is concerned or the smoke uh, related uh, issues are concerned? Now, sprinkler is considered as one of the important uh, 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 strategies world over, but the sprinkler also comes with a lot of uh, limitation. The main performance uh, requ uh, purpose for the uh, a sprinkler is it, it reduces the heat release rate and it also leads to cooling of the smoke layer. Higher the heat release, quicker the activation activate, activation of the sprinkler. If the heat release rate is less or a smoldering fire takes place, heat uh, the sprinkler activation will be uh, delayed and therefore it may not be working very well. And significant decrease in smoke temperature is caused uh, by the sprinkler activation. So when significant decrease in temperature happens, the sprinkler is actually making the uh, the uh, the uh, smoke layer unstable uh, uh, and making the smoke extraction system more <coughs> uh, 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 difficult to work uh, so can the smoke extraction system be effective <coughs> when the sprinkler is activated that's a, a question so one the sprinkler may work but the sprinkler if it doesn't uh, uh, you know uh, work independent of uh, uh, the uh, the smoke or a, a smoke extraction system that is one option, but the smoke extraction system will also start working. So when the two are working, <coughs> are the smoke uh, two systems working in tandem or would they start interfering with each other? Then, of course, uh, the sprinklers also have a considerable failure rate up to about 7% is always considered to be uh, uh, the uh, reliability uh, uh, level. In that case, how reliable is that uh, uh, that option of uh, giving so much of a uh, uh, you know, tolerance of a sprinkler uh, system and uh, 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 and giving uh, importance to the, uh, the uh, just one uh, fire suppression mechanism and leaving uh, the, uh, the envelope as uh, uh, as unguarded uh, um, uh, opportunity for fire to grow. If you look at uh, the codal provisions uh, uh, in that in a typical uh, glass facade, we find earlier there was no such uh, provision wherein uh, uh, between the two floors uh, uh, the uh, the glass uh, uh, separation was much shorter as we see it on the left hand side on the right hand side there is a spandrel detail where uh, a considerable um, uh, uh, you know a spandrel or a, uh, or a separation is created by uh, by a non combustible uh, portion uh, and that uh, leads to deflection of, uh, of 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 flames and 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 it will delay the uh, uh, the opportunity for the flames to graze back and that is where leaf frog uh, may be less effective and heat dissipation if it takes place then probably in the right hand side the uh, the, uh, the fire may not uh, travel upward so by by improving the envelope design provisions this can be made more uh, 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 safer uh, in uh, as i mentioned uh, a few slides before uh, we have uh, an option in national building code where uh, we have uh, 600 meters by uh, 600 millimeter um, uh, opening at about ceiling height, 10 meters center to center. But we, we we cannot understand what is the purpose of that. If the purpose is to open them and release the smoke uh, 
uh, uh, uh, collection inside in that case would the smoke and the hot gases outside not lead to the leaf frog spread so we we, we really don't find that uh, this kind of an option uh, or the interference in this uh, uh, purpose would be very effective but it leads to another uh, fundamental issue what is the underlying assumption on the basis of which such provisions are made and therefore we find that this prescription probably requires to be evaluated by uh, uh, the performance based understanding and not really looking at the uh, uh, the prescriptive uh, uh, code regime the building envelopes are becoming more and more complex world over it's part of a static part of the uh, urban uh, uh, design uh, 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 situation it can be simple tall or it can be as complex as we, uh, we can see here but, and each one of them will present a different kind of a situation and therefore would the prescription be satisfactory in all such situations if you look at various uh, a uh, fire incident uh, in 2020 sharjah london 2017 dubai 2016 dubai 2015 17 dubai 2012 uh, dubai 2012 2015 in baku azerbaijan melbourne 2014 uh, uh, france uh, 2012 uh, shanghai 2010 las vegas uh, 2008 uh, honolulu us uh, 2017 all of them had uh, uh, the sprinklers and still the envelopes burnt like crazy as we can see here uh, in in, in uh, a building on the left hand side in australia it burns like a, 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 like 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 paper outside and it spreads like uh, uh, nobody's business and no fire fighting arrangement can actually uh, deal with this kind of a simultaneous fire on all floors no egress system can actually be very effective so that is where the significance of envelope is far more than just laying all our safety strategy on 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 the sprinklers alone this is the grenfell building tower the left hand side shows the uh, the building envelope as it existed before the middle picture shows what they wanted to do with aluminum uh, uh, composite panels on the right hand side is the devastated uh, uh, envelope with about 90 odd uh, deaths to its discredit uh, another example it shows again burning like a paper uh, envelope in shanghai 2010 58 deaths And, and 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 it's almost like a simultaneous uh, uh, development of fire very very uh, uh, very phenomena and that is where building envelopes required need to be seen in a very different way again in another uh, uh, address hotel dubai 2013 uh, you can see the, the all the floors have been devastated uh, uh, together in mumbai uh, uh, again we see that the envelope has actually uh, uh, caused so much of uh, uh, devastation on by way of smoke spread and making of uh, fire fighting far far more complicated uh, all these fires be that uh, back to our uae towards uae or, or, or oriental um, uh, culture center fire in 2007 all of them have uh, uh, burnt like a, like a paper uh, 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 building envelope and that's where the challenge is. and that's where uh, we try to emphasize that building envelopes need to be seen in a very very different way uh, another building in korea Uh, started on 12th floor and we can see uh, how it's actually uh, uh, you know the fire is limited to starting from a, a limited one floor but then it involves the entire uh, uh, the building uh, we also have uh, an issue related to the uh, uh, falling debris because the, this falling debris will uh, spread on the adjoining buildings and we find that uh, in many cases uh, uh, area maybe about a half a kilometer around the building need is required to be evacuated and uh, this can create a problem for the uh, fires elsewhere and also causing the potential hazard to the occupants who may like to maybe required to come out but if there is a debris falling on them then it becomes a problem again fire fighting becomes a very very difficult job a uh, falling uh, debris has a great potential of damaging vehicles and the surroundings uh, 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 in places and that is where the, this is another consequence of uh, a building envelope some innovations uh, uh, can be talked about when the position of the, the building envelope the incline can actually be Uh, leaf frog back inside the building or it can take away uh, uh, the design plays a very important role again this design uh, 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 works as a performance uh, 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 solution rather than the, the prescription solution as we see in the right hand side it makes envelope far far more safer another option where it again the incline as well as uh, uh, the opportunity for the the smoke to rise between the two uh, two skins Uh, gives you a far better option to uh, uh, not only uh, carry the 
uh, the uh, the hot gas is up protect the envelope as well the issues with the glazing are again very complicated uh, at about 150 uh, degree temp uh, degrees temperature we will find uh, the smoke would be uh, 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 you know a uh, moving uh, 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 exiting from the building uh, uh, envelope and most of uh, the glazing uh, uh, materials ga- glass options uh, would actually start shattering at about 100 degrees to 125 degrees that would take about 2 uh, to 3 minutes so if, if we have a glass uh, uh, envelope it is a is a very very vulnerable uh, 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 situation and sprinkler is now in india considered to be some kind of a protection from one side but if the protection is from the leap frog uh, 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 spread the possibility of uh, any uh, uh, such sprinkler from within as i said uh, uh, 600 mm away from the envelope will never ever be very uh, effective so so the, the glazing still is a very very challenging situation one option is to go for fire retarded glass but that will be prohibitively uh, expensive if you look at the risk assessment towards the end of the list, uh, this discussion uh, we find that the risk assessment factors the criteria for the envelope will be the presence of presence of absence of combustible materials liability of uh, capacity of automatic sprinkler will they work would they not work fire fitting cap- capabilities height occupancy consideration with the sleeping occupancy or otherwise uh, the compartmentation which can actually restrict uh, 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 the spread of fire inside even though it may be happening off that's where it gives you some advantage of actually exiting uh, from the building in a safe manner evacuation strategies what kind of uh, uh, evacuation uh, uh, passages have been designed and the fire loads inside if you look at uh, this criteria we can look at the risk that uh, a typical building would pose and that probably uh, can help us think building envelopes in a more objective manner from the point point of view rather than simply from the point of view of thermal performance as in the interior definition i mentioned in the beginning of uh, this talk so the key performance objectives of uh, the uh, the building envelope if we want to summarize is the prevention of vertical spread prevention of fire spread to the adjacent building assuring of fire a resistive uh, capability of the wall so it does not collapse by itself and it is attached to the structure and reducing the possibility of uh, uh, the fire on the facade itself and all the assemblies to perform as one system all these uh, 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 the points and the discussion is uh, uh, carried forward in the book that i mentioned you in the beginning essential of building and landmark fire safety for the details you can uh, refer to uh, uh, this book and uh, finally what i would like to close my a talk by saying that uh, uh, the building uh, envelopes and facades require uh, uh, defining performance objectives rather than just following prescriptions alone and not looking at other options by solutions or the design to make it safe which actually makes things much better in the in innovative designs where in the aesthetic thermal as well as fire uh, uh, related f- um, um, uh, objectives can be Uh, a synergized and a safer solution can be uh, brought out thank you very much